I mean, so one of the things that I absolutely love and aspire to keep hopefully in the next couple of months, uh, we'll be getting one of our own. But we have a little Spencer's monitor here on display. I think you're an absolute amazing beginner monitor for large granites and yeah, just taking it absolutely beautiful. That's what's known as a lizard. <laughs> Very clingy. Huh? It's very clingy. Yeah, it's, it's like 50. Yeah. What have you got there, Ben? Stand back uh, a bit. Go back. Go back. Okay, what is it? Alan's water python. Amazing little species. <laughs> you mean it's Alan's water python or Alan's, it is an it's a water python? <laughs> Alan, very clean, it's got me kind of handcuffed at the moment, but it's such an amazing white lips. Otherwise known as a white lip white lips. You get amazing white lips all the way to your And the Aboriginals used to call it the rainbow snake because of the iridescence all along its back and its body. That's <laughs> <laughs> He just... <laughs> <laughs> totally got him. <laughs> yeah? Just unhandcuffed that side. There we go. That's nice. Yeah. They are so nice. They get that beautiful yellow belly. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it gets a little bit white as well. Okay. Yeah. See, amazing iridescence too. Yes. You get them out in the sun and it just glows. Rainbow serpent. Yes, exactly. The Aboriginals used to call it the rainbow ser serpent because of all the different shades of colour that come through because of the iridescence. So in all those dreamtime stories, it's the five of us.
Good food? Yeah, just love stuff. Hold on. Nip. There you go, sweetie. Oh, a bear hug. Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> well, she's, she's good. She's in the handcuff. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. That's awesome. Water pipe. Is she trying to tell you something? I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't know. That's a beauty. Thank you. Yeah, I love this thing. It's a cool snake. <laughs> Awesome. This is Cam Kenner, he runs a YouTube channel. What's happening? Awesome. Now you do some awesome things on the property here. You have so many different reptiles from monitors to snakes to uh, large tortoise species. I love the lack of horses. Right on. A few species that I've actually had a chance to work with here in Australia. And what's your experience being with them to do privately? Uh, privately, you know, it uh, can be a challenge because they're quite large and um, you got to make sure, the thing that I see with them is you got to make sure you have the habitat set up. It's, it's like any other reptile. Once you have the habitat dialed in for them, uh, the husbandry is easier and you cut down on any potential uh, problems with health, which is so important. Uh, you know, being a keeper yourself, husbandry is going to be uh, probably 90% of keeping the animals healthy. Um, so there are little things with this species that I learned from Colette Adams from the Brownsville Zoo uh, and that is basically uh, she found out these animals love uh, to walk over rocky terrain mm -hmm. so we try and emulate that by building the water watering hole high so they have to climb up it and then go back into it uh, logs and different rocks because they live on a volcanic island so we want to make sure they have the right posture uh, then of course diet I think with me one of the things I talk about with those guys is so many people overfeed their animals in captivity. Yeah. So tortoises, you know, an animal that eat uh, leaves and grasses and pretty much just things that don't have a lot of nutrients in them. So uh, you don't want to overfeed them with some of the prepared diets. So I only feed my animals a couple times a week and let them forage the rest of the time. Those are grazing That's right. They, they're grazing, they're browsing. Awesome. And obviously you can do awesome amazing monitors for me. Yeah. Monitors are my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I just love them. I'm seeing the expensive monitor. Uh, you can what, what's your favorite species? Well, um, at the moment, um, I have recently received a crocodile monitor and that was a bucket amazing. list animal for me. Yes. And uh, they're, they're something that uh, I've always loved. I love anything that lives in trees mm -hmm. and is active. And, just watching that animal move through and close is really good. But I guess my all-time favorite is Slinky. I, I, I'm a kind of guy that's more into the larger animals. I just have always sure. been like that. Yeah. Um, so I love Slinky because uh, he's interactive, he's intelligent, uh, and I love, again, movement. I love watching the animals interact with their habitat, whether it be in the wild or what we can do at home. So watching them swim, and watching them climb all over me, and go after food, that's really a lot of fun. So that's the man. Yeah. Slinky's the man. Slinky's the man. He's awesome. the man. All right. And if you want to find Cam Cannon on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. uh, I do Instagram as well. Yeah, I don't do yeah. Twitter. I do Instagram, and Facebook, yeah, TikTok, and uh, YouTube. Awesome. And all of that is at the handle Cam Cannon. Yeah. And my name is Cannon, but my friends came to my house and said it's like summer camp, so they call it Camp Cannon. Awesome. Just raising head. All right. Take care later. Bye. Bye. Bye.